Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to a back to school breakfast meal prep video. Today I'm going to share with you some breakfast that I love to make ahead and have ready for the kids to make the school mornings go a little bit smoother. For me, I personally find that morning rush, getting the kids fed, ready and out of the door, the most difficult part of a school day. A close second is probably dinner and homework, but the breakfast I'm going to show you today are ones that my kids really like. You can make them, have them in the freezer and just ready to go to make your life that little bit easier. So of course I will put all the recipes in the description down below and I'll also use timestamps. So if you're watching a recipe and you think my kids probably wouldn't like that, just skip ahead to the next one. Okay, so I hope you really like this video. I hope it gives you some inspiration and ideas of breakfast that you could try with your family. And if you like this kind of video, definitely give it a big like. That's a really good indicator to me that you like this kind of content. And if you're not subscribed, I would absolutely love you too. Um, but with all that said, let's get into to the breakfast. So first up, I am meal prepping some pancakes. These are so easy to freeze and have as part of your breakfast rotation. My kids love them. They're a real treat. So I thought I would show you our recipe for fluffy pancakes. So I'm doing a big double batch. So you might want to half the um, ingredients, but I'm basically mixing 600 grams of self-raising flour and two teaspoons of baking powder gonna give that a quick mix and then add in 600 ml of milk and four eggs and then I'm just gonna whisk all of that up together until it's nice and smooth. I think some people like to add in sugar to the mixture but when we eat them we cover them in maple syrup so I'm leaving sugar out of the recipe and that's pretty much it. Then you just fry them in batches. I'm using some coconut oil and we've got this great hot plate which makes it really easy to fry them. Um, so I'm just going to do it in batches and as I said you could actually do this alongside making dinner or just like being in the kitchen um, and they're just so easy to have in the freezer. I get so many questions about how I reheat them whenever I share in a meal prep video so I thought I would show you the next morning I just got a batch out of the freezer. I normally freeze them in batches of like four or five because my older children will have two and then just from frozen stick them into the toaster. I'm doing mine for about two or three minutes and then they just pop up. Sometimes I add a little bit of butter on top and some maple syrup and that is pretty much it. So really quick on a school day. I'm also making some French toast today because like pancakes they're so quick and easy to make, have in the freezer and just pop into the toaster on a busy school day. They're also a great way to get eggs into your kids especially if they don't like eggs. Mine do now that they're older but when they were babies I used to make french toast fingers when they were weaning so literally all you need for this is eggs cinnamon and bread so I normally make it so there's one egg per piece of bread and I'm making enough for four mornings so I'm making about 12 pieces of french toast my boys normally just have one on a school morning maybe with some fruit so you just whisk all of that up and then pop the pieces of bread into the egg mixture, flip it over and then fry it exactly as you would a pancake. And that is pretty much it. Then I freeze it in batches, as I said, of three. And yeah, it's a nice, like it's nice to get about one egg per piece of bread. And yeah, just super simple to heat up on a busy school morning. And it's just something again, a little bit different for them. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of flipping them. And then I thought I would show you once everything is all cooled, I'm just going to put them into Ziploc bags. You can use reusable bags, you can use Tupperware if you want to, but I was making so much. I ended up using these Ziploc bags here and as I said, just putting them into how much they'll eat on a morning. Next up, I wanted to show you a really great recipe for baked oats, which you can make in your air fryer. My friend Daisy taught me this. I'll link her Instagram in the description down below, but it's really simple and it honestly tastes like a dessert at breakfast. So in a bowl, you just mix up a cup of porridge oats and then about three quarter cups of milk, any kind of milk you like, then a little bit of vanilla extract, about a teaspoon, a ripe banana, and then some cinnamon and also six tablespoons of Greek yogurt and then any other fillings that you want. You could add in raisins or I often put in frozen raspberries because it just makes it really sweet. It honestly makes it taste like a pie or something. But what I tend to do is make this mixture 
on like an evening and then put it into the fridge and then in the morning all you have to do is pop it into your air fryer or your oven for about 10 minutes on 180 and then you get these like freshly baked oat bakes or you can you know you can only do one if you wanted to but if I was doing the three for my kids you can stick this into the air fryer it's really really quick and then it comes out smells amazing and I normally like put it into a bowl and then serve it with a little bit more Greek yogurt and it's a great way to get oats into your kids but it's really really yummy and this is also like a recipe for you as a parent like it's really delicious and it's pretty healthy as well and a recipe that we've only just started making this summer are McMuffins at home. These were really delicious and I recently saw these sausage patties in the supermarket and on the front you can see there's like a McMuffin photo. So I thought, oh, I'm going to try that at home. But just to say, this is obviously processed meat. So you probably don't want to make this every single morning. It's very much a treat or something you could make on the weekend. But all you have to do is put the sausage patties onto a tray like this and then put them in the oven on about 200 for 10 minutes. I also flip them halfway through and then while they're cooking I'm going to make the eggs that go with them. So I'm just going to fry up six eggs in a frying pan. I'm going to flip them as well because you don't necessarily want a runny yolk for this. Um, but yeah once all that's cooked I'm also going to toast the muffins and then just put it all together. So I'm just adding to the muffin a sausage patty, an egg and then the secret Secret ingredient which you really need are these cheese slices like the burger cheese slices I tried these without the cheese and it just did not taste the same but as soon as you put cheese in it, it's like oh my god it's a McMuffin um, so yeah what I tend to do is actually put these into the fridge because they go really quickly but you can also freeze them but when I get them out of the fridge in the morning I'll microwave it for a minute and my kids love them they're really really tasty definitely fills them up and the last recipe and make ahead breakfast that I wanted to share with you are these egg muffins. These are great to have in your freezer or your fridge. It's also great if you're on like a paleo diet or a high protein diet. You can use up things that you already have in your fridge and they're really tasty. So first up, I'm just going to whisk up about six eggs and then in a muffin tin, I'm going to put a little bit of oil into it. I actually kind of wish I'd actually used muffin cases because it was difficult to clean then you add in little chopped up bits of ham maybe spinach maybe bacon literally whatever you have and then the egg on top of that and I'm also going to season it and then add on top some grated cheese I'm actually using mozzarella because I buy it like grated and yeah it's really really delicious then you pop this into your oven for about 10 minutes on 180 and it does like puff up so you don't want to fill it completely to the top and that is pretty much it that you can take it out of the cases store this in Tupperware or in bags in your fridge or in your freezer also makes a great snack um, like a high protein snack if you sometimes I'll eat it that way or it's like a great grab and grow breakfast you could microwave it or you could literally just eat it like that and it's pretty healthy so anyway that is everything that I wanted to show you guys today those are the five make ahead breakfasts that I absolutely love for back to school I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!